Payne, physical, about 6'9", 250, perhaps could match up with him down low. Dawson Garcia mentioned he didn't play in the first meeting between these two teams. Minnesota's 11-point loss in Lincoln, their last game out. Payne, he was a positive in that game against Nebraska as an and-one opportunity coming up. A rhythm offense, but they're good enough defensively to hang around until that rhythm kicks in. I think that's kind of what we're seeing tonight. Yeah, the defense just travels everywhere, and so does Paul Mulcahy's game. At the heart of that build right now for this program under Ben Johnson. Battle on a three, drops it down. An easy layup to Simpson on three on two break. Maybe another one of those learning curves is Payne on the follow-up slam. Connell came up looking for a steal. He leads the Big Ten in that category. And Lee showcasing the footwork. Rutgers bench wanted to travel. Got away with one there, but another freshman that they're really excited about. Locked off the glass from Garcia. Rutgers has seven second chance points in this one, thanks in large part to his rebounding. There was a foul prior to that shot going up. It's going to count. I see it paying off right there. Off the screen came up short that time. But look who's on the doorstep for a putback slam. It's Amori again. They were only up by five around this same time frame of the opening half. Okay, he on a drive. Oh, what a finish for Paul Mokehi. Ooh, dangerous pass. Garcia used all 6'11, then locked it up top and thrown it down hard as they. Hyatt silences this crowd with a huge story. Twelve straight losses for Minnesota. There's five of those. Yeah, right on cue. There is your guy, Galen McConnell. How many steals does he have? He's just impacting the game in so many ways. Yeah, and when you're a good defensive player, you can impact it as they get the layup right there in a lot of ways. But I think also it helps that they switch defenses so much. They come on at halftime. They're so poised and calm. Mori back to McConnell, veteran to veteran, and two more for Rutgers. Props an early Ben Johnson timeout. He told us this team had an adjustment period when Watt Nag was injured and had to leave the lineup as Talon Cooper drains a big three. Nag out for the remainder of the season. Goes to work against Amori. And Amori won that round, getting it done on both ends. Minnesota has yet to adjust. Now Rutgers exploding out of the gates in the second half. In a game that really they need to win in the Big Ten standings. Amore goes to work with some pretty footwork. 96, open for back-to-back -back victories. They near a matchup with Northwestern to close out the regular season. Meanwhile, that's a three from Battle. Nice feed from McConnell. Palmquist, corner three. Payne goes up strong and one for Pharrell Payne. It is. And when you play hard, you know, good things happen. And, you know, you get more opportunities like we see there. Mori taking advantage with the left hand hook. Payne, nice pass. Pump fake and an easy deuce for Cooper. Mori and Payne, another round of this fun matchup. Oh, rebound from Mulcahy at 6-7, went up above Cooper. And then the drive from Simpson for two. Here on Sunday, Rutgers wraps up their regular season slate. It will be a defensive battle for the ages against Northwestern. As Hyatt, speaking of defense, he gets it done on offense here with an and one opportunity coming up. Mulcahy going to work, that size of his to back down. Cooper, but a block from Payne. One on the shot clock, Mokehi okay, didn't see it. In the corner, battles three. That's a crucial one for Minnesota. Team's really competing hard. Amori in the post again, going to work. Just can't get it to go. And Johnson also told us limiting them to one shot would be key. They haven't done that today. Minnesota does force a turnover. Understand the time and score right now. 
It's a long three. And Cooper pulls Minnesota right back within seven. Using Rutgers as an example of what the future could look like. Right now, they're trying to stop this guy in the paint, but they can't. Cliff Amore again in the post. On the court, but obviously off the court as well. They were looking at whether or not the shot clock should go to 20 off the miss. It's down to five right now for Amore. Blocked by Payne. Inside of the final five minutes. They go down to him. Excellent job to separate himself from Amore. Kind of lost it there, was able to get it back and some of a mini pull-up shot right there. Oh, and then the rejection from Amori. And Lee cut off, and McConnell read the passing lane. Two on one with Hyatt. McConnell to the rack. Facing a tall task, literally, with Zach Eady. Here's Talon Cooper, kicks it out. Garcia, what an answer from Yossi Garcia. The rebound they're looking for again slips to Rutgers. That's been the theme of the day, and Amore! Powering it down. With three minutes to go, just once again, could not limit Rutgers to one shot when they needed to. Payne gets a bucket. Back to an eight-point game. Battle closed out on get to see McConnell back in the game for Rutgers. Another steal for this Scarlet Knights D. Dead is a scrappy guard. Henley weaving, tried to dish it out. Another steal of those long Scarlet Knight arms. Maybe one last gasp for the Gophers. Garcia's floater. He's setting the example right now on how to not give up late in the game. Garcia, if you need a bucket, this is where you go. I think Minnesota needs a three here. Worst, you can't turn it over. Can't turn it over. He's got to get a good shot. They look for a three. Oh, it rains down for Jameson Battle. Battle of three. Once another, he drains it. would have went into a frenzy chance to tie or potentially win it with 5.8 to go for the gophers cooper to battle for the win Book it! the gophers shocked the scarlet knights